To sell or not to sell seems to be a question on many people's lips at the moment. And yesterday I saw a LinkedIn feed that had two people who I respect greatly with polar opposite views. One view was back off from your customers, give them space and time. The other view was to be bullish and drive your sales super hard. And it made me reflect as to where do I sit on this viewpoint. And the answer is they can be both right and both wrong. The question I want to ask really is, is my customer ready to listen? Ultimately, as salespeople, we want our customers to buy our products and services. And for them to do that, we often need to engage and influence and persuade them to help make that choice. But for us to do that persuasion and influence, our customer's mindset needs to be in a place where they are switched on enough to be able to listen. And where does that come from? It comes from the sales and the marketing engagement initially. But considering where our customers are potentially at this point in time, many of the customers are not in the headspace or kind of business life cycle to be able to listen to our, our pitch, our engagement, our closing skills. We run the risk of being too bullish with our customers who are not ready to listen and waste a lot of time and effort and potentially lose that customer forever. Equally, if we back off from our customers, we're going to miss those opportunities that are still out there that we can add value to our customer and keep our business moving whilst helping our customers' business. So when it comes to asking if our customer ready to listen, there are three ideas I'd like to share. One, how do we know? Two, alignment of sales and marketing message. And finally, about reaching out. So firstly, if I want to know if my customer is ready to listen, I need to listen to them first. And the things that I'm going to listen to, their company news section on their website, their company social media posts, the individual within that organization, their social media posts, business press, industry sector in, um, insights. I want to listen to what is going on in their world. On a previous video, I talked about businesses either being in a reverse state where because of the crisis, they're going to have to shrink and restructure and many will not survive? Are they in a neutral state where they've had to just kind of go on to um, semi-furlough or just turn down their activities, but they'll be pretty quick to switch back on again? Or are they in fast forward and really um, able to um, profit and grow um, really strongly in this crisis? And depending on where that customer is will depend on the, the context as to whether they can listen or not. So establishing that, that first then enables me to think about what's next. Sales and marketing. Often two different approaches to a customer with two different messages. And at this point in time, salespeople need marketing because they need the marketing to be able to help that customer to, be, to listen, to help get that mental headspace for that customer and be able to craft the message in a way that really strikes home the value that you can offer. Salespeople... If your message on your social media and on your emails and your phone calls aligns with the marketing message, then the customer hears a really consistent, clear, value-added proposal from your organisation. At the moment, your, co your customer needs clarity and certainty because there isn't much of it around. So if you can provide that in your message, then you've got a better chance of engaging with the customers who want to buy your stuff. And then the third aspect is about the reaching out. Is it the job of the marketing team? Is it the job of the sales team? The reality is it's a combined approach is the, the, the ideal solution. So looking um, at your reach out methodology, is it the marketing driven? Are you approaching through social media to your customers? Are you sending emails directly? Are you picking up the phone? Hopefully you're setting up um, Zoom calls and um, doing virtual conversations with your customers. You may be sending text messages, WhatsApp. There's a ton of different ways that you can do it. You need to find out what works for your customer. That is all that is important. It's not about what you prefer. It's about what works for your customer. So if you can listen to where your customer is at and ask yourself, are they ready to listen to me or not? Work with your sales and marketing team to get a consistent message. And then finally, reach out in a way that is either end of that polar extreme that I talked about at the start or somewhere in the middle to say, hey, we're here, but I'm not going to pester you. Good luck and we'll speak to you soon. Or 
buy some more of my stuff, let's get on some calls because we can add value to you on the here and now. Your approach is your approach, but listen to where your customer is and ask yourself the question, are they ready to listen to me? Hope you all have a great long weekend and Easter and I'll see you again soon.